everybody, it's Brandon Scott, and with me the head coach and general manager of the Sudbury Five, Logan Stutz, uh, doing our new summer video here. So hopefully uh, you guys could stay tuned, let us know what you like, what you don't like. But first, Logan, we have a special message to some of the Sudburyans out there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just want to start off by you know thanking all of our essential workers out there on the front line, whether it be healthcare. Uh, grocery stores and any sanitation just just anything I want to thank you guys through this tough time helping us uh, keep going um, and that's a big part of it and then also a big shout out just to everybody in Sudbury we're, we're down to zero cases and I think it's important we keep it that way as you can see we're here at Moonlight Beach and Brandon and I will be practicing social distancing um, through the series of this show but for the most part I just want to give a shout out say thank you guys let's keep doing this we're in this together and if you get a chance to get out to one of these beautiful places, you know, get out of the house, come check it out. But again, follow those guidelines that the city's put in place. Yeah, you know what? The water's a little warm right now, cool, Logan, or at least not as cold as what we expect. But let's dive right into the basketball talk. Starting out, looking back at this last season, we had one player on our team bringing home a little bit of hardware, J.R. Holder, sixth man of the year, and also the newcomer of the year. What can you tell me about this season J.R. Holder had? Yeah, absolutely. Um, big congratulations to J.R. for bringing those awards home. We brought some home last year um, with Braylon and Jalen, and for J.R. to continue that tradition it is very exciting. So to see him come to Sudbury and, and do what he's done, it was fun as a coach. You know, I asked him to come off the bench at the start of the year because he wasn't as familiar with our system as a lot of the guys. Uh, he accepted that role. He mastered it, and then he stepped up. He just kept stepping up, kept impressing me, and just to see him get rewarded like that is special as a coach to for a coach to see a player get acknowledged for his hard work on and off the court. Yeah, he really speaks to his uh, Twitter handle, Fear the Beard. Yep. Uh, just like a, a player, <laughs> you need the fear on the court. Uh, but Logan, uh, seeing a guy like that uh, bring home hardware as a coach, do you feel a little special seeing one of your play guys get uh, rewarded like that? You know what, JR's kind of been rewarded his whole career. If you followed him, uh, his couple championships in Europe, he actually has a finals MVP. So for me to be able to continue his success is probably more important to me. It would not be able to you know, stop him from doing what he's good at doing, but to maybe help him where I can. But he's been able to continue his success. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm you know, a part of his story and Sudbury is a part of his story. And you know, whatever he does next, he's going to be successful at. So I'm glad we were able to help him with that. And it sounds like he already has uh, another gig lined up for himself. Yep. I'm uh, thinking, uh, do you still keep in contact with some of the players we had this year? Uh, yeah, I touch base with them every now and then. You know, speaking about JR and Fear the Beard, we probably should touch base with him because I'm sure during quarantine that beard <laughs> may have gotten a little bit a little bit bigger. But yeah. let's stick with JR for a quick second. He signed a deal to continue um, this year in Israel. They started their league back up for two months. Um, you guys can follow him. We'll put some information out there for you guys. If you want to follow JR, he's going to be continuing this year in Israel. So that's obviously very exciting. And then we have many players playing in the TBT. Um, we'll get the information on that for you guys to vote for the team. Uh, Braylon's going to be playing in that on the same team as uh, Marlon. Um, that will be exciting. And that team's going to be coached by Elliot. So check that out for sure, guys. Go ahead. We'll put a link up. You guys can click that and vote for that. And then uh, last but not least, I know we got um, Brady Skeens will be doing a Division II basketball team in the tournament, which I think is very exciting. I played Division II basketball. It's a great option. Me and Brady actually played at the same school. So to see him go out there and compete uh, is going to be exciting too. Yeah, and uh, speaking of, like, we know what the players are now doing, but what about you, Coach? Uh, you got some stuff cooking this summer? Yep, yep, I got some stuff cooking, you know. Doing this show with you is exciting just to give Sudbury a top priority. Top priority, give, give them something to get excited about. You know, basketball's still going on. Sports is kind of at a pause, but we're still working hard behind the scenes where we want to get you guys information. We want to keep our, it's pretty much our, our career, our trade. We want to keep that going and uh, inform you guys. But, I mean, on the court, it's at a pause, but off the court, it's obviously been busy. Spending time with my family. Um, I have a new one on the way, which me and my wife are very excited about. Uh, maybe we can even do a gender reveal on the show in an episode or two. So we'll see if we can get to that. But um, for the most part, man, we're just been at home, following the quarantine rules, uh, doing what we can, trying to reach out to some fans, trying to stay involved, trying to interact with the community as much as we can. Yeah, and uh, I feel like a big thing coming up is the protected list. Uh, maybe you won't give us any leaks on the show right now, <laughs> yep, yep. but maybe in the future, is that something you would like to discuss uh, or even like what goes on in a protected yeah, list? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. So with the protected players list, uh, we'll see exactly the restrictions and rules the NBA will put on it this year. Usually I'm allowed to protect uh, six or seven players, and that gives me the first right to refusal. So those are players that, you know, we would like to see back in Sudbury. Some of them will further their career, but... We'd like to see them back um, for, for lots of reasons. And basically, I have the first offer. I can make them an offer. And if they accept it, we'll get them back. Um, but if not, 
other teams will then have the chance to go get them. If other teams make an offer, I can match that offer or I can let that player go. And what you'll see is more often than not, some of these players will continue their career in Israel or Europe or Asia or somewhere else. But if we got a chance to get them back, like we uh, we got Braylon and Jalen back, they were on our protected list. That was very exciting. Uh, we'll see who we get back this year on our protected list. But you know, for the most part, uh, all the guys on the team, they're welcome back. If we can get a deal with them, we'll, we'll take them back. Cause I think we had a fun, exciting year. Unfortunately, it got halted, but uh, we'll see what happens. So maybe stay tuned for that protected list. Should be coming soon, but I don't know about you, Logan, but these bugs are starting to get to me. Uh, I feel like we should find a court or something. You know what? Let's let's go find a court so we can play a little basketball. Yeah, exactly. Well, we moved from the beach to the court, and I want to hit on one more thing during these times is checking on your family, checking on your friends. We're actually here at my assistant coach, Dennis's house. He's going to tell us how he's been getting through these times. Hey, coach. Things are great. I've uh, been doing some barbecuing with my smoker, and I've been doing some online learning with my students at LaSalle. Uh, and then now I'm starting to golf, so I'm trying to keep myself a little bit busy. I hear about the golf. I like how I hear about the barbecue. It sounds like we're going to have to do some filming of that later. I think we should have a cook-off. Um, you know what? Cook-off, maybe a long drive contest. We'll see where it leads us. I think it's a great idea to get some friends out and hit some balls. Perfect. But now, let's do some basketball. All right, here we are on the court. You know I'm going to give you guys a little warm-up. I'm going to give you a game you can challenge yourself with. One thing I want to remind you is that check with your city, see what courts are open, see what gyms are open. If you've got a driveway, I encourage you to get out, have some fun, get off the couch, get a workout in. So if you've been a part of our Sudbury 5 Academy, you're pretty familiar with our warm-up. We're going to go through some one-ball drills, some two-ball drills, then we'll get into a new game that I haven't taught yet that I think you guys will have some fun with. The important thing to start out with is your stance. A lot of times, shoulder width apart, good knee bend, hips back, eyes up at all times. You can do a lot in basketball from this position. Defend, get ready for a rebound, shoot, dribble. Right now, we're going to warm up with just dribbles. You can go pound the ball about knee high. You can bring it up, cross over. Same thing on the left side. Get about 10 good reps in each way. Do a little bit more of an advanced warm up. I like to go with two basketballs. You can really challenge yourself. You get a good workout in. Work with your coordination. Again, we're keeping good stance. Eyes are up. You can start with just a normal two ball drill, two ball dribbling. You can alternate. You can bring the basketballs up. You can go one over the other. For this next part, I really want you to challenge yourself. We're going to use the basket. It's a game I like to call Beat the Pro. You're going to shoot. You start at zero. The pro starts at zero. When you make it, you get one. But if you miss, the pro gets two. First one to ten wins the game. Next shot wins yeah. for the game. I don't know how you guys did. Let us know if you beat the pro. Brandon, you want to come try? Yeah, sure. Trick shot. That's not what we're trying to accomplish, but I think I know a guy that can help us with that. All right, sweet. Let's go check him out. Let's go. when I was uh, my youngest son was about six months I would just kind of do it as a joke like and make him kind of laugh and then as uh, time he got older he started watching more shows so that led to Tom as a train mother goose club so sports highlights were taken away so I couldn't watch sports highlights anymore so I decided to create my own highlight reel so that's why when I started off with the highlight reel it's me because I can't watch TSN anymore in the morning because my kids always have something on. So I just took a shot and sent it to my buddies on Snapchat and like everybody got back to me like, no way, like that's fake. And then it just progressively went on and on. And then yeah. the, the rest is history. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Now, when you go and kind of set up these trick shots, uh, 
what's through your head like mapping them out well so it'll just like it goes day by day so I'll hit a shot and I'll be like well you know what now I can add like there's one where I did off the house and in and then the next day I'm like well maybe I'll go off the house off a table in and I'm like you know what why don't we try adding another table to that so then it just pro I progress whatever trick shot to make it bigger as big as it can get and then I move on is this a natural gift or like could someone like myself uh, really like work at and become a trick shot I think anybody can work on it you just need the dedication like there's some shots that take a while I just don't give up and eventually they go in mm -hmm. the ball always finds its hole so you guys want a few pointers on how to do a trick shot how I put it in from behind so basically I line up perfectly um, once I'm lined up perfectly, my head perfectly, I just kind of let it go back um, and it goes in. My other tip is basically if I feel like I'm going too far right, too far left, then um, I um, change the net, but most times the net's where it wants to be, so I kind of just kind of just continue just to shoot it and yeah, so that's my tips. Oh, like, that's amazing, but can you trick shot wearing that? Ready for the highlight reel? You know what I'm saying? Beauty. Seventy-five. Thank you. Ready for the highlight reel? Here, get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Ready for the highlight reel? No. There it is. Oh, hey. Highlight reel. A little bit more. There it is. <laughs> One hour later. Highlight reel. like we're wrapping up our very first episode uh so much stuff is happening uh who, what have you took it away uh we had a fun day uh we started out with a good recap of the five uh we pitched the Sudbury five academy with a little training session and get that back up and running soon and ended it with uh some trick shots i mean it doesn't get any better than that yeah of course uh for anyone watching out there you want to see us doing something you want to see logan doing something go ahead suggest comment like uh slide in our dms of the Sudbury five and we'll do it uh, please let us know. Yeah, thanks for joining us for today.